Hello and welcome to Dan Bradbury TV, the internet's most passionate video blog for coaches, trainers, consultants, speakers, people like us. First of all, if you watched the, the previous episode, thank you so much for the comments. Uh, we've taken many of your comments and questions and we're turning them into future episodes as we speak. As you're watching this right now, I'm slaving away over a hot video camera creating those future episodes for you. Now, here's one that I want to cover this week. This is actually an email that I received recently and I emailed it out to everybody with my comments, but it was so important, I wanted to cover it again here. And here's what it says. It says, uh, Dear Dan, I've been loving the fantastic monthly newsletters and interviews you've been sending me, but I'm afraid I have to cancel. A frowny face. Um, times are tough and I've got to try and save money. Um, I'll look to rejoin once my financial situation has improved. Please confirm, wishing you the best, person's name that I won't mention. Oh dear. Where do I start with this one? That's like saying, you know what, I really want to lose weight, but I don't have the time to lose weight. So what I'm going to do is stop going to the gym and stop preparing healthy home-cooked meals and only eat fast food. Are you kidding me? So I just wanted to say, if this is you and you know who you are, thank you very much for your comments. Or file it in the appropriate filing cabinet. Now, um, did you know that the average full-time coach only makes £18,632 per year? That's the average! Are you kidding me? That means the people that are making six and seven figures, that there's loads of people making a lot less because it's the average. Why is this? Well, you know, like our friend who sent in the email, they're trying to make models work using old paradigms. So they're not staying up to date with the current shifts and changes in the market. So they're, they're playing a losing hand. They're playing a losing game. You can't use yesterday's strategies to play in today's marketplace. So as a first time ever guest interview on Dan Bradbury TV. We've got a, a friend of mine who's going to be talking to us about the two of the changing trends as we go forward into 2012. Please welcome Mr. James Labus! Yeah. Oh, it's a bit ne <coughs> needlessly dramatic. But yeah, well, you know, down. thank you very much. It feels uh, very, uh, I'm honoured. You should be the very first guest. You should be. This is going out to, to, to several million people. Several people. Give, oh yeah. Give or take My mom's one several of them. million. Yeah, my mum's the other. Hi oh. mum. Um Merry Christmas. Now um so James, cut to the chase. Let's talk about the changing trends in the market. We do before we do that though, I want to talk about something else I think is a bit more important. Now, what is this all about? You're not actually a fan of Thunderbirds, are you? Um, not hugely. Yes. No, no, no. No. They're, they're all around this room. Hang on a sec. Just wait there a second. Hang on a second, mate. I'll be back in a minute. Look at this. It's bolted to the wall. Is it bolted? No, no. No, here we go. Now, there's a little bit of history for you. This is Spider-Man. This is uh, drawn by Todd McFarlane, the best ever Spider-Man artist. You should have this one up behind, not the fun button. Alright, I'll sort it out right, for next right. week. Excellent. You just got to make these points. It's much better than the Thunderbirds. And if you disagree, obviously comment below. Yeah, Thunderbirds tell us which, versus Spider-Man. Who would win in a fight? Thunderbirds <laughs> or Spider-Man? Comment They're below. They're just puppets, aren't they? Mm. Yeah, but there's lots of them. That's true. There are lots of them. Anyway, as much uh, thank you for the useless comment trivia. James. You're welcome. That's all I bring to the table. Uh, the lazy coach. Tell us. Yeah. Done a lot of cool stuff in the marketplace. Yeah. Interesting things going on. Uh, you're quite famous. It sounds um, well. Do World you know, famous. Uh, it sounded a bit fake, but you bet the short version is you make a shed load of money yeah. doing not very much work due to uh, <laughs> your online coaching training programs. But tell us, we want to talk about that. But tell us, what are these trends in the marketplace? What do the guys at home need? How, what do they need to be changing in yeah. the business to make well, this work? How about I, what we were talking before this video and uh, about what could I share that would be. Really powerful. I figured at, at September at your your big conference, there's going to be plenty of people watching this who weren't at the conference. What do we do with those people? 
Well, I think they, they, can buy, they, can buy, <laughs> they can buy a ticket ret- retrospectively. You should do. And just frame it. But anyway, no, at the conference I talked about two of the big emerging trends. Because here's the thing. We talk about the internet. A lot of my business is based around the internet, right? So um, I get pretty much all of my clients, very high-paying clients, online. I, I don't meet most of them. I barely speak to most of them. And yet I'm able to serve them with very high price but incredibly value-packed, curriculum-based online coaching and training programs, which is what I do. That's what the Lazy Coach Way is. And so I think that what needs to change first, as you were talking about using old paradigms, and things like that is that I think the paradigm for the internet needs to change. I believe very, very strongly that the way people even think about what the internet is and how it can get them clients, how it can make you money, needs to change because it's come so far, so fast. I mean, we talk about this stuff all the time, don't we? It, in as much as I think most people still see the internet as a place to go and look at websites. You know, it's a place where there are web- these things called websites. Most people's websites are still these kind of brochure sites. Um, yeah, you know, it's yeah. like page after page. The bottom line is now the internet is something that actually enhances your reality rather than, you know, it used to be like virtual reality, like not quite as good as reality. Yeah. Now the internet actually can enhance your reality. Think about Facebook. Are you talking about buying drugs? <laughs> yeah, exactly. You can do that. You can sell supplements if you want. To I get that. emails every day. Viagra. <laughs> yeah, Just click too. this link. I don't know how those came to my inbox, by the way. I obviously, uh, obviously yeah, we'll get into that later. Uh, but the um, yeah, the thing is, the internet now is a way of actually enhancing your experience. When you think about Facebook, for those of you, if you're an active user of Facebook. Mm-hmm. Actually, you can feel more connected to the world Yes. by interacting with people. You can actually have a greater sense of community, of social connection. Network, relationship. Exactly. Yeah. It actually enhances, whereas you go back even five years ago, you had forums where you could talk with people, but it, you never actually, you were typically left with a sense of greater loneliness and sadness because you're like, here I am writing my opinion on a forum, somebody may reply. Yeah, and it was a, well, it's a place you go to like a one-off, whereas mm. Facebook is a place where most people, like me certainly, my I'm logged into Facebook all the time, exactly. and it's nearly always open at home, and, and again, it's nurtured that network, because mm. I'm now in regular touch with old school friends and people that I would yeah, never right. have bothered to otherwise. Yeah, totally. Yeah. So understand. the thing is, the whole paradigm needs to change. We need to understand that the internet is now something that can actually enhance not only our social connection, but also our businesses. And so there's two big, big trends that I see. Number one is websites are dying. That's the simple fact. That websites are decreasing hugely. Back in uh, 1999, 2000, most web traffic was to websites, you yes. know, the traditional sense. Now Where is it going now? Well, it's now going towards video. Yes. You know, you doing things like this. This is how we like to communicate. The internet's most passionate video blog for coaches, trainers, consultants, and speakers. It is. I'm feeling the passion. I'm feeling the passion, man. But the um, it, it, so one of the the big trends is going from websites to platforms. So what I mean by that is a platform online is something where you can retain people longer. And with a website, the typical way that you retain somebody on a website is by hopefully having enough interesting content there that somebody stays on your page. But it's actually not a very good retention device. Yes. If you can create a platform where people can interact with one another, where there's reason to stay beyond just an interesting sentence, then you really are going to start to nail it in the in this kind of this new age that we're going into now. Yeah, so, so just kind of a recap, it's yeah. not about, you know, it's not about static information, here's some information that I've put exactly. out there, exactly. it's about let's you and I connect and build relationship yeah. um, in some kind of platform where people are going to be called to come back again and again, not yeah. just go to when they want to buy a product. Or Having a destination, basically, and actually when you, when you if you look at any of the big online uh, properties, you look at the Amazons, you look at Google, you look at Facebook, they've actually, you know, if you go back you know, six, seven years ago, Google was a search engine. You go there, put in your stuff, and off you go. Yes. But and, and actually, if you think about it, Google didn't retain you for very long. Now Google are creating places, pages. Yeah, um, they've got uh, 
Google Mail, they've got Gmail, yeah. they've got, you know, Translate, they've got all kinds of, almost it's like an apps. entire platform. It's an ecosystem. E exactly, that's a great word actually for it. I think that actually really nicely describes what they're trying to do. It's like they're trying to provide everything for you. So you never ever leave Don't need Google. to leave, exactly. And all of the big properties are doing that. And certainly when I'm delivering my online coaching and training programs, when I'm delivering free information online, I'll use platforms, sometimes I'll use blogs, which are free, anyone can pick up a WordPress blog. Sometimes I'll use paid platforms like uh, Kajabi, for example. Mm -hmm. now, all of these are designed to retain people for longer. So you can create a destination online, as you said, which is like a little ecosystem uh, where people can, can learn and grow from each other, where they can interact. And you can, when you can create that platform, you're really gonna nail it in the new age. And also, it by default, helps your celebrity status in the market. Mm. If you are the owner of a place, just like this blog, to say for example, this is somewhere where- The internet's most, most passionate, passionate blog for coaches, trainers, <laughs> consultants, and speakers. You take a platform like this, this is naturally gonna retain people longer because of the mixed media, and this leads into the second big trend, which obviously is video. Now everyone's at the moment talking about you know, video and how important video is. Now one of the newest, newest, newest trends is live streaming video. So at the moment this is a pre-recorded video. So even though we're recording this live, we're, it's not edited in case you, <laughs> you hadn't guessed. <laughs> it wouldn't be much less uh, left actually if we did it, honestly. Three second video. Yeah. Hello. Bye bye. <laughs> That's it. But um, so uh, live streaming video, I believe, is going to be uh, an absolute new trend. I, I reckon is going to start coming next year and into 2013. So, for example, it's now possible if you do a big event or even a small workshop or a boot camp or a retreat or anything like that, like you do, like you're absolutely mm -hmm. one of the best people in the planet to know about this stuff. It's now possible to sell virtual seats to your events. Sure. And if you've got a laptop, and the, but this just blows my mind. Firstly, the technology is free. Right? There are sites out there that will let you stream direct from your laptop. You've got a, a yeah, laptop, like Ustream. Ustream, you've got Livestream as well. Um, if you've got a laptop with a little camera built in, or even you've got a separate webcam, you can set that at the back of the room. You can stream live your event, as long as you've got an internet connection, obviously, right? You can then sell virtual seats. Now, I tested this recently, uh, uh, back in April. I did an event and I thought, how could I make the event self-funding? Because you know, I had to pay for hotel rooms, you know what it's like better than anybody, right? You pay for hotel rooms, travel, put yourself up in the room, you know, all the booze you get through while you're there, all this kind of stuff. And I was like, how can I make it self-funding? And I tested selling virtual seats to it. All I did is I brought my computer along, put it at the back of the room, and it paid for itself. The entire event was paid for by people who were all around the world. They couldn't make it, but they, they, couldn't wanted, make they it. wanted to get the content. And also, this is how you get your ideas global. You know, I'm very lucky in that at least just over a third of all of my customers are territories outside the UK. So I've got customers in Hong Kong, Canada, USA, New Zealand, Australia, all around the world. The great thing is the sense of community when you do virtual events as well, you have people from around the world tuning in, it's huge. So you get the same thing, you don't just let them watch, you let them ask questions exactly. and interact. And you don't have to just do live videos like you're doing with this blog, which I just think is a fantastic idea, is actually involving people. Mm. You know, it's so much it used to be just one-way communication. Let me give you a message and you must listen. Yes. I think what you've done so awesomely here is it's like, tell us what you want to know and we'll make a video for you. And I think that's the way it has to go now. Um, but all the technology is supporting that. And I think the biggest message I can give to people is don't be frightened of the technology because I'm pretty much known as the pioneer of online coaching and training programs, but the big secret the big, the big secret is I'm a techie idiot. I had to work this stuff out for myself very yes. slowly. And the great thing is the technology is now pretty easy. I think what stops people really is their belief that they're not technically adept. Well, I think an interesting point to make is think about first mover advantage. Because, I mean, yes, people could wait. In the same way that most people have latched onto now, Facebook is a place that can be a great place for business yeah, and yeah. things like that. People are starting to make that connection. Um, you know, it's been around for several years, but with the kind of live streaming and the interactive video box and stuff, it's kind of like you can wait for it to become main mainstream. <clears throat> but one of the reasons why it's so, one of the reasons why, there's many, but one of the primary reasons why it's so effective is nobody else is doing it. So just by contrast, 
everybody else is static. So you need to move quickly. Otherwise, you're just going to be you're going to be caught. Uh, you're going to be caught behind the wave if you're just doing things when everybody else does them. So you really want to be one of those early adopters, which you pioneered with the kind of online coaching programs. And it's amazing the success you built. And now, obviously, as people and more and more people are doing that model, you're cons- consistently evolving that model. As I'm with this business, I'm doing this because it's where the trends are going. I mean, the thing about that number is that I think it's because we're still locally minded. I think most people... We need to change that. We need to change that. Put some zeros on the end of that. (laughs) The the problem with that is that... No, that's better. 1.8 and another zero. There we go. The, the, the problem with that number, I, I think part of the reason for that is people are still so locally and geographically minded. Yeah. So I think most coaches are like, okay, how can I get They do the training, clients, how yeah. do I get one-on-one clients, they go to networking meetings, all and that. Everything's crap. local. And the crap they were doing 10, 15 exactly. years ago. And th- there's no doubt that you can obviously still get clients that way, you know. Um, Jesus, going back five, six years when I was you know, first struggling to get clients uh, before I pioneered all this stuff. You know, I was doing that and I was slogging my guts out, going from meeting to meeting, seminars, trying to network, cold calling people. It's bloody exhausting. And I think, actually, if you can expand it's your it's thinking. Okay. It's okay. It's gone now. You've passed that time. <laughs> I'll never get over it. But actually, the thing is, you bring up an interesting point, which it is bloody painful. And I think most people are living. Well, most people give up. I mean, because I mean, let's be honest. You know, at the eighteen grand. I mean, that's below. I think that's below the average income for the UK. It's horrible. It's horrible. And it's that's scraping a little. Yeah, and you know what? We've all been there. You know, I mean, mm. I've been at that place. It's not a nice place to be at. And I think you have to start by expanding your thinking. And the the biggest piece of advice I give to all my new lazy coaches. Because they come and they go, oh, do I have to be a techie? Do I actually have to be lazy? Actually, the big secret is there's quite a lot of work involved up front, like most things. Um, the the other big thing is, no, you don't have to but be a the techie. But work quite a lot up front coach.com doesn't... It doesn't have the same ring to <laughs> it. The same ring. This is the thing. But, um, but once you've got all these things set up, once you go, you know what, I'm going to spend the next two hours educating myself about new technologies, you go leaps and bounds ahead of the rest. Well, it's funny because, I mean, you know, obviously you're here at my offices today and uh, you made a comment because uh, James was looking at some of my products in the other room. They're on the shelf stacked, ready to be shipped out to customers that have bought them. And he was laughing at one of the photos of one of my products. And um, But there's literally dozens upon dozens of different products not you know there's hundreds of products out there but there's dozens of different products and I was saying to James how you know originally it was like a big deal to create my first product but once I understood how simple and straightforward it was and I broke my duck you know I, I made that first product it became easy yeah. to replicate it's just like doing these videos doing the first one was painful and took me years to get around to doing it and now I made the leap it's just like oh you just do video 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 Absolutely. video keep going so it's practice. but as you said I think most people give up and I think you know to, to get on these trends you've got to make a commitment you know it really does come down to there's no there's no ta- magic tactic there's no magic technique it all comes down to a commitment we've just been watching will smith videos you know haven't we? and we're all inspired Shh, working very hard <laughs> working very hard it just happened to be on in the background but the you know it's For six hours <laughs> yes yeah, solid <laughs> <laughs> like this but you know I think one of the things that comes through in all that is you know making a commitment and staying the path and that's certainly one of the ways I think if everybody watching this certainly I've got to have some, I've got to leave some value behind haven't I I suppose the value I'd leave behind is to say commit to mastering this stuff look at how can you create uh, platforms you get free blog you can set up a free word um, Facebook page for God's sake most people you know when I started doing video I'm pretty much known as like one of the you know the guys to come to when it comes to doing compelling videos but the bottom line is you look at some of my videos four or five years ago they're shocking I mean they are shocking but the place I got to now where I'm now I'll go on TV for billion dollar brands selling hundreds of millions of products on QVC now, yeah, that's I right. He's that. the guy who's up late at night selling <laughs> you the crap that you don't need. That's true. That's true. You do need it, though. The Multi Magic Mix Multi Chopper 2000 TF. Yours for only 17 payments of 1999. <laughs> but, but, you know, the point is, I got to that place not through any luck or anything like that. I just practiced. I just practiced. I wanted to master it because I realized very early on, just to, I know we haven't got all the time in the world here, but, you know, 
this all came out for me out of desperation. I was doing one-to-one -one coaching, I was exhausted, I wasn't spending any time with my family, it was all falling apart because I thought I wanted to be on the phone all the time, be mm. the Jerry Maguire super coach that's on the phone. I had no life. Was Show missing me the money. Time. I, I, well, this thing, I wasn't really even making that much money. Yeah, because sure. There's no leverage. No, exactly. A £90 an hour, and I was doing the one to one. I did 1,000 hours of coaching throughout 2005, 2006. Ridiculous, right? And uh, I got desperate, and I thought, there has to be a way that I can communicate en masse mm -hmm. with my market and attract clients en masse and, and this is the important bit, serve them en masse. Yes, of course. Yeah, exactly. And that was where, which is what you're brilliant at doing with your mastermind groups, with your seminars. But for me, I wanted to do it uh, slightly differently in as much as I didn't want to do seminars and I didn't want to do the face-to-face -face stuff. I wanted to be able to do it online at like virtually no cost. Like, how can I do all of that at no cost? Yes. And this was before there was anyone to model. You know, I was doing this in the beginning of 2007. The only other people doing e-learning and e-coaching were like schools and government institutes. So I had to just start testing this stuff. The bottom line now is it's so much easier for you to do that. And that's yeah. why video, that's why creating platforms. Because platforms. So, so powerful. So uh, go do it. So let me wrap up by saying this. Give us, we've talked about a lot of concepts, mm. uh, the importance of interaction, live streaming. Give us three top tips. So. For those guys at home that are watching this video, what are three things that they, websites they could check out or actions that they could take to start moving forward with these two trends? Yeah, sure. Firstly, tip number one, and I don't, I'm not even screwing around here, do not screw around. Make the commitment. That's got to be the number one. It's got to be the mindset thing. Please don't think, oh, I can't handle that. Oh, that's not me. I'm too old for that, which is another one I hear all the time. I'm too old for that. You know, oh, I don't get that techie stuff. It's, that's all bullshit. I don't know whether I can swear on this blog. I just did. Ah, oh, fuck so it. So there we go. <laughs> what for kids? Few guys. We need to we'll beep, beep, we'll beep that out. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. God damn. Anyway, so the... Um, what the... <laughs> are you... Get, <laughs> carry on quick. Number so, two. So, uh, number two, blogs are still awesome. Get a blog. Get yourself a free blog. You know, a lot of people... And say, actually oh, update it. Yeah, update a oh. blog. You see, the point is consistency and keep going. You know, consistency creates momentum. That's the point. So even if you go, oh, but I did that, James, and I did six videos, and nobody tuned in, so I stopped. Yeah, but you made videos? it in 1936. <laughs> no, but no, doesn't it? Doesn't it hate? I hate nothing more, almost virtually than anything else, even more than Emmerdale. I hate going to a website and seeing. Uh, uh, a blog and the last post was in 2000, mm. January 7th, 2009. But here's a tip on that, turn the date off. So on my blog at thelazycoach.com Is that a WordPress there's blog? No, yeah, yeah, it's a WordPress blog. Free, free WordPress. So your last post was January. <laughs> it probably was. But the point is, update it and be consistent. Tip number three is also a commitment to excellence. You know, it doesn't matter if even if you're not even sure what the standards are in your industry. You know, I was really moved by the death of uh, Steve Jobs, of, of the uh, ex-CEO of Apple. And uh, he had a commitment to creating something wonderful. Mm. And I think that's one of the things that stops a lot of people is that they're just creating crap. And I think if you really go, how could I make this video or how can I make this blog post absolutely outstanding? Something that my market would go, I would pay for that. Now, if you do that, you will get high paying clients because the pattern is easy. You post five or six blog posts. If you want to like the basic pattern that I started with, five or six free blog posts with absolutely outstanding content. And then on the fifth or sixth post, you simply make an offer at the end. You just say, look, I'm opening my books for some new clients. If you'd like to join me in a group coaching program, it's going to cost you this much. Get a free PayPal account if you don't want to, you know, again, if you want to do this really ghetto like I did back in the day and still do, you know, put a PayPal button in the blog post and just say, look, go ahead and register. Or go ahead and apply or whatever it might be. It's easy. The thing that stops people is all the bullshit we've talked about so far. Awesome. I love it. Demonstrate the value. And, and the reason why a lot of people are scared of that interaction is because, the you know, having comments and on your blogs and stuff is because most people aren't really adding the value, therefore they're not going to get good feedback. Totally, totally. But if you've got the interaction, at the very least, at least you'll, you'll learn quicker. Yeah. Don't leave nasty comments below this video, please. <laughs> yeah. so, so awesome, James. Nice one. Thank you very much. Cheers, Dan. I appreciate it. Now, for you guys at home, again, please give your feedback, comments beneath this video. Uh, we will feature you in future episodes. If you're chosen, not only will you get your questions answered, but also we'll feature your name and your website for next time. So go ahead, Do comment it. below Do this it. video. It. See you next time. Comments.